Man's mind, once stretched by a new idea, never regains its original dimensions. This inspiring quote by Oliver Wendell Holmes lays emphasis on the importance of education and how it can change the way people think, inspire them to be innovative, and develop them into idea incubators. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Insight from the studio of Thomas Adeomi University. I am your host, Abib Kaldi Yaya. In the previous edition, we gave you an up close on the second matriculation ceremony of Thomas Adeomi University. In this edition, we will be discussing the impact of entrepreneurship on the students of Thomas Adeomi University. I am not alone in the studio as the director of University Ventures, Mr. Larry Oladmeji, shall be joining me shortly after the break. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Welcome to Thomas Adeumi University. Show me a productive center for science, medicine, and technology. My answer is TAU, conducive and peaceful is our ecology. Let me tell you about this great university, a home for all, regardless of diversity. Our ability to provide exceptional pedagogy for our scholars is one of the reasons we are becoming popular. So you don't need to spend a huge amount of dollars by sending your child abroad to become a scholar. Our school is a replica of universities across the seas with proficient workforce dotting the I's and crossing the T's. We have the state-of-the-art facilities. We are driven by ICT's. And if you have a low jam score, please don't let it bother you. With a minimum score of 130, our doors are open. You can come through. Here, learning is exciting. It is worth exploring. The passion for entrepreneurship is what we are restoring, so join us now. Let's build a lasting legacy at Thomas Adelby University We provide top-notch literacy. Visit our website at www.tau.edu.ng to explore more about the university. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is The Insight. We are going to be discussing the impact of entrepreneurship on Thomas Adeumi University students. It's a pleasure to have you in our show, The Insight, today, and it's also a privilege. Uh, I hope uh, you are going to uh, give us the explanation we need on entrepreneurship. Hopefully. Uh, Mr. Olawaju is the director of the University Ventures and is... Um, um, education or his knowledge of entrepreneurship is quite robust. So we have the advantage of gaining from his own robust knowledge. So how has work been? Uh, th thank God. Um, work has been going on well. That, that's good to know. So I have a few questions I want to ask you okay. um, when it comes to entrepreneurship. And the first one, we know that entrepreneurship has become instrumental in the creation of uh, new products and services and uh, it also helps stimulate uh, new employment um, which ultimately results in the acceleration of economic development so what is the essence of entrepreneurship the essence of the introduction of entrepreneurship to the student of Thomas Adelme University and what way do you think entrepreneurship is going to impact on the lives of the students and the nation as a whole. So, yeah, let's discuss about that. You know, when growing up in, in our own school, in, the, in the, when, when we were undergraduates, the very compulsory, you know, you have to um, take on entrepreneurship as a course. So my interaction with the founder, and I was telling him, oh, entrepreneurship in school, what he taught us as a writing business proposal, um, what kind of business you want to venture into? And I was surprised in the direction the founder is, is um, challenging his own dream. He said, uh, his own is it beyond you knowing to write a proposal, you know, it's beyond you just knowing the theoretical aspect, aspect of being an entrepreneur. It's his own is how to make you an entrepreneur, how to make every student of TAU 
entrepreneurship oriented, like it's compulsory. You know, like we have the vocational and technical training center. You know, it's compulsory for every TA student to be certified in a particular entrepreneurship skills, in a skill that, okay, it doesn't matter what department or faculty or your field of learning, it might be in nursing, it might have a flair for, say, um, data analysis. And, and the sweet thing about our entrepreneurship here is, it goes beyond, you know, when you say entrepreneurship, people probably thinking, oh, I want to learn how to sew, okay. how to barb. The usual, the usual, the usual stereotype. Yeah, I want to learn how to sew clothes, how to tan, dye, all those, all those kind of things. But here, it's more digital literacy. Anything you do, even if you say, "Oh, I like fashion," because you have to go where the world is going right now. Yeah, and because the world is moved by digital now. Yes, like the internet. Um, you have to go where the world is moving right now. In, and so basically. The problem we're having right now in Nigeria is you see the skill gap in a lot of graduate outside. Can you imagine how many months also has been on, on, on strike? Can you imagine how many youth are supposed to be productive right now? So imagine they are engaged in one skill or the other. It's just an alternative for them to, oh, okay, I think I can do this. I think, okay, by doing this. So for us here, it's just how to make our economy robust, how to make graduates who will leave school and they, they, the sky is their limit. They can, they can decide to, it can, it can be a nursing student, can start to develop a hub, that whole, this hub, probably a doctor's hub or something that, you don't need, it might not need to be, it might not be to be in the hospital to get your prescriptions, talk to your doctor. So a lot of creative stuff that we're trying to bring in, bring in on board, not the normal kind of entrepreneurship you see, because separately, Apart from all the buildings we have, the different faculties, like you know, we have another kind of building for the yeah. for the center entirely. So even people from outside can also yeah can also come. It's open to a lot of people. So basically, we, we believe that it's just a way of contributing our quota to society, and changing narrative of how school should look like. School should not just be where you come, you read, but not to show for it. Okay. So, Okay, so before we go into um, the strategic ways, you've mentioned some of them, or quite a few, but we've got, before we go into the strategic ways that Thomas Adelmi is, you know, kind of its entrepreneurship program mm -hmm. and initiative. Um, okay, now let's say, um, and you've touched a bit on the impact of entrepreneurship on the student. Now, as a nation, as a nation, what is the impact of entrepreneurship? What, what rules does entrepreneurship play as a nation in terms of economic building, in terms of all the factors to be considered? Yeah, it, 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 it's um, written on the wall of Nigeria that economically we are, we are backward because we tend to focus our attention on a particular sector. We tend to neglect some, some, so, other, some other aspects of it. And you could see that a lot of youth, a lot of young people are traveling out. Yesterday I was watching a program talking about how Nigerians are leaving the shores of the country to economy where it's diversified. So, you know, entrepreneurship will, will help will diversify the economy. A lot of people will, you know, it's just so unfortunate that in this country you leave school and you're like actually looking for that white collar job, you want to work yeah. in a bank, you want to work in, it's not, there's no diversity. So. It, we have a lot of youth that are unemployed, and we have youth that should employ people. Now, we want to, if Nigeria, is, if Nigeria as a whole, as a nation, our leaders are actually thinking in this direction that oh, let us create people that will be job creators. creators and not job seekers, it's going to help the economy at large. It, it, we cannot overemphasize what that will do to the economy yeah. in terms of security. People will not be idle, you know. They say Haidu man is a devil's workshop. Yeah, of course. People know we Haidu. You, you, all of when people are engaged, because you can imagine people are engaged, they love what they are doing. They can at least now start thinking, oh, I think I want to go to Canada. But people are Haidu, no job. No jobs. No, no the first creative. thought is, ah, let me just find it somewhere. And there's no job, so let me just find a way I'll ah, be. Yeah, and, I'll be. So you can imagine that, you know, what Google is doing. Is enhancing entrepreneurship skills if you don't really know because these guys are, are using their skills 
to develop the tech community, what Microsoft is doing is, you know, so when we have people who have this broad knowledge, who have, okay, I, I'm skilled in this, let me empower people, let me employ people to ca probably carry on all this, all this creative thing. So I believe if, if the country as a whole and other institutions can actually see why we need to really inculcate the habit of being job creators in the mind of our young people, it's going to go a long way economically. Okay, thank you so much for that. Welcome, sir. Uh, now, okay, knowing fully well that um, entrepreneurship is now um, a significant focal point for Thomas Adelman University, what are the strategic ways in which um, this entrepreneurship orientation and training for students go? What are the strategic ways that um, Thomas Adelman is dishing out this entrepreneurship orientation? Yeah, you know, like I, like I, I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of programs and partnership. Because we believe that uh, through proper partnership, we can actually change the world, change the face of what is really happening in the country. And, you know, because we don't really want to make it business as usual. We don't, we don't want to make it look like um, an entrepreneurship. After the course, you probably will just have a certificate that is not tenable anywhere in the world. So our partnership is with international organizations like say for example one of the partnership we are currently working on is national open college network in the uk those people are um the national open college in the united, yes, united kingdom. kingdom so what with, with that partnership you go through that skill training through that partnership you're, you're going to be certified by them through us so we are just like a center you know, understand, like a center, like a, a satellite center okay. here in Nigeria. So you go through that program, you're going to be satisfied with that kind of um, certificate from them. From them. So it's something that we are looking at and, and the Vice Chancellor has been strategic about it. The love um, partnership. Um, we have the Owawi uh, ICT partnership. So the Owawi ICT Academy okay. is a partnership with Owawi. Okay. So you can imagine that it's not going to be we are not teaching ICT, you know, we have computer science, definitely. But we, are, we are teaching you those ICT, like 5G, um, web design, so some of, the, some of those clouding, so, so networking, all those things. So once you are done with all those programs, your certification is coming from OIB. It's not coming from... So you can imagine... So it means there is an international yes. um, status for that certification, certification which means the placing is employable globally. Globally. So okay. that's, that's the scope, because we want, we want our graduates to be employable globally. You can imagine now the, the world now is so vast. I can be my it can be my room, and I'm working for a in Nigeria. So and you need some you need some kind of certification. Some you have to be proven or you have the skill, and you, know, you can imagine the certification you have. So we have been strategic with this. We want to partner with a whole lot of people. Yesterday, you know, there are some things I might not be able to say because some things are still in the pipeline. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of partnership and the, the vice chancellor is so strategic about it. Um, yesterday, there was still a meeting with some college in the UK on how to integrate, not only not only um, bring those people here, how to even take our students as an exchange okay. program, okay, integrate this culture and see the way forward. So th those, are the, those are the kind of strategies. Okay, uh, what, what about the, um, the, I think the popular philosophy of students working and getting paid? What yeah, about that? Yeah, uh, thank you. You know, Another thing is here we want to we want to give our students the head. You have the experience even while you're in school. So we, we there's opportunity for students to work on campus, on campus job. You just declare your area of interest. You want to be um, work in digital marketing, you want to work in cafeteria, we have the water factory, like we have the farm. So all sorts of places that students are showing interest. So you get paid on 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 the job. So you can imagine some student in my on the long vacation, sometimes I decide not to go home and say, oh okay, I just want to stay I here. I want to stay work and work. So you can imagine the experience our student would have gained wow. even before before leaving before leaving school. And look, there are some jobs. Can I some of the students are even coming up with proposals that I want to start laundering for school. So they're ready to partner with the school. Okay, I want to I mean I want to I want to start barbing, I want to start cutting. Um, 
the male hair, how to work in the salon. So there are a lot of creative things, a lot of creative wow. jobs that students are really doing. I think that's um, a breaking ground um, aspect because, yeah. you know, in most um, schools that I've seen, I think within Nigeria and even Africa, I think it's only very few that, that is doing that kind of thing that you are, your students are working and getting paid, which means they have an additional advantage of get, be, and getting um, significant experience yeah. and also getting paid. Yeah, getting paid. Wow, Thomas Adelman University is, is doing quite well. Yeah, uh, so um, in my last question, like you said earlier, TAU has partnered with um, national and international um, Organizations. organizations and corporations in with this aspect of entrepreneurship and um, you know training and everything so um uh, can you speak more about this um this and do they get certified and what are the benefits of these certifications i think on the long run on the long run yeah like like we, like we just you know we, we mentioned earlier it it gives you um an employability um, status yeah globally okay because no you know when we should not limit ourselves to this local environment we should not limit ourselves to nigeria we want to want to be able to have graduates who will be competitive in the global market we want to look back and see our students at the top of every field they or every career they might decide to eventually venture into so this partnership you know is more or less like a cultural integration and these guys are coming they're coming from uk, UK. us canada they're coming here down to nigeria understanding our culture so it's more like a cultural integration of what unique thing can our student do differently from every other people even from differently from their own students over there yeah. so in the long run it's going to give because here in, in thomas Adeo university apart from the normal NUC curriculum, the certificate that you get, you must be certified at at least one of these vocational, one of these entrepreneurship programs. You must have one certificate. You must choose your interest. Definitely, it should be a matter of interest. Yeah. But you must be certified in one of them. Now, is that less for you to integrate it in your course? You might decide to. We have a lot of people who probably at the end of their four-year course program. You might decide to just leave that and probably choose, choose another 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 field, side, of, and that, and that field of life. So, wow, that's amazing. You know, it, it's good when you have options. Yeah, that's a good thing about life when you have options. So you can have you, you can fall back to something, not even another like something very some, something significant. significant. Yeah, yes. something yeah. something significant. You know, just like when Dreamer NYC and um, we. You know, NYC, yeah, all of you have to wear white, white and white. Yeah. So it's, it's more or less like a uniform. So there was a hill in the camp. So I was on that hill. So I was seeing a lot of white clothes, thousands. So I was not thinking, if these guys leave this NYC camp, where are we, where are we going to? Where is the job for all of us? And that's in my own state, now in the 36 states and um, federal capital. So you can, can you imagine that kind of mentality. So when you have a visionary leader, like the founder and the vice chancellor, they probably seen ahead. That we cannot now start causing, creating more problems. You have to start creating solutions. So that the things that we are working around with, because we want to make sure that, you can imagine our students having that job experience even before leaving school, is a, a edge. So it's an edge over their well, the other colleagues. Student, colleagues here. So, those are the things we are looking at in the long run. That when our students graduate from this school, we are rest assured they are ready for the market and they're going to make impact in uh, anywhere they are. They find themselves. Uh, thanks so much for that, and uh, a lot of gratitude to the uh, founder for you know um, you know um, this initiative and even the passion so yeah. and um, for your work um, toward the progress of this. So my last question is just like oh the ad admission is going mm -hmm. on now so. In this regard of entrepreneurship, as a special advantage for anyone coming to Mass Admission, what is your advice for admission seekers? The truth of the matter is, I want to sound like Igbos in Alaba market and sweet mouth here and say, oh, this and this and this. But really, Thomas Adem University is actually a STEM university. It's, it's where, you should, where you should send your word. 
you know, I was I was listening to one of your programs and you said you just wish that your kid can can have it. Yeah, yeah, like you just have a big kid and you know <laughs> most of the things that people are trooping in out to go through. Because right now, if you go through if you go through um what's it called? The number of people leaving the country, where where are they going to? They are going to school. They, they want to go study. That school they are running after overseas. We have it. We have, it we have right. the kind of school that has we have, all those we have, we have that kind of school right here. Top notch. We are, we might be Which is Thomas Dade University, yes, of course. Yes, definitely. So my advice to any admission seekers, parents, it's just give it a try. And and it will definitely convince you it'll be wild. Okay, you've heard it from Mr. Larry Oladomeji, the director of University of Finishers. Give it a trial. Like, this is a school that, you know, from all the things you have said, I mean, obviously, I would say it again. If if I can have that miraculous power, let me just go, let me just have a kid and go up and put him into Mazadeh University. Definitely. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you in the studio. And uh, so we, I am I, and I'm sure the audience are also you know, gaining a lot from your insight and from your intellectual explanation of our entrepreneurship has really uh, impacted in the nation and how to Mazadeh is using um, that slot to you know build job creators and problem solvers. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having a nice day. With this, we have been informed and enlightened on the impact of entrepreneurship and how it helps in developing the economy of a nation. We have equally been made to realize the huge benefits that the students of Thomas Adeumi University enjoy from the entrepreneurship initiative in the school. If there is anything this means, it means that graduates of Thomas Adeumi University will not be ordinary graduates, but problem solvers, idea incubators, job creators, and developers of our economy. It means that students of this innovative learning institution will have additional skills and certifications and will be employable nationally and globally. Mm. This is a great opportunity for every one of us. Our 2023 admissions are open and we have a spot for you. Kindly go to our website for more information at www.tau.edu.ng or call our admission office at 090-529-29899. We have come to the end of the show and on behalf of the founder and co-founder, governing council, vice chancellor, management, staff and students of Thomas Adelman University, I say have a good day and thanks for watching. See you in the next edition. Bye.